Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and you know I love making creative sim videos. I don't know why, but creative sim has been my obsession lately, and I'm sorry for all the creative sim videos. But, you just saw my video about the difference in the family tree, and Cosette and Anthony just got married. While I was playing that episode, I was thinking, hmm... It would be really nice if we could get to know Anthony's family. You know, so shortly after the wedding, I decided to go into create a sim here and create Anthony's parents. I was debating whether I should do Anthony's parents or Cosette's parents. For now, I'm going to just do Anthony's parents. I was thinking about making Cosette's siblings because the reason behind her getting this plot of land was because Cosette's grandparents are dead and as a part of like their will they wanted to gift Cosette this piece of land you know kind of playing along with the vibes of Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon so anywho this is the video for creating Anthony's parents and we're gonna start off with the mom first and mom I would describe her as loving, caring, you know, sweet mom. She always tries to be a great mom and a great wife. You know, she's one of those moms that will ask you 50 million times, did you eat today? And remind you to eat because she is a foodie and she just loves to cook for her family and loves to support her family especially her husband and everything that they do. And I feel that Anthony and his mom would have a really good relationship. Like, he's not a complete mom's boy, but he just really adores his mother and appreciates his mother for all that she's done. So, next, of course, I gotta create that. And I know some of you may be wondering, well... Asha, why didn't you think of this before the wedding so the family can't attend the wedding? Well, you know, I'm sorry. My, my brain doesn't always think things through, but this gave me a great idea for a storyline because I kind of want to spice this game up a little bit, you know? You know, just add a little more flavor other than just trying to complete the challenge. But anyway... I was thinking that the reason why his family didn't attend the wedding is because they don't know that he's getting married. I know. Gasp, right? Gasp, guys. Gasp. Because he didn't invite them. Alright, so. And this is going to be the juice that is going to beef up this let's play. So, Dad. I know Dad. So the reason why Anthony didn't invite his family to the wedding is because when Anthony was, you know, getting ready, growing up, he's a teen, loved his family, loved his parents, blah, 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 but... Right before Anthony was getting ready to kind of like go off, move out, do his own thing. Him and his father had a huge falling out. Huge falling out. You know, like it was bad. Like they were actually literally boxing, you know, one-two punch. Like for real. And things got bad, like so bad that Anthony's mom was like threatening to call the cops and everything. She's never seen her husband so just upset and unraveled. And the reason why he was so upset and unraveled is because here you have Anthony, who is a good looking man, really smart man, you know. He, you know, always did, he did well in school, you know, for the most part. He did well. Anthony played sports. You know, enjoys sports. He was a football player in the fall and a baseball player in the spring and everything. And so, 
you know, here he is getting ready to go to college, looking at all these colleges. And then Anthony decides that, you know what, mom, dad, college isn't for me. And then he just pretty much decided that college wasn't for him and he didn't want to go to college because, one, he didn't want to kind of waste his parents' time and money and the college's time and money because Anthony wasn't quite sure what he wanted to do with his life. Let's just face it. Anthony didn't know. Um, not that he's never thought about it, but he didn't want to be a pro athlete or travel down that route. And he wasn't quite sure at the time what he enjoyed. And so he decided that he wanted to take a year or two off and kind of discover himself, figure out who he is, what he wants in life, all that sort of thing. And so he decided to take a couple of years off and just go backpacking across across the world, you know, going to different neighborhoods, going to different areas in this little sim universe just trying to have a, a realization moment of what he wanted and Anthony felt that he just really needed that time to himself because he felt like all of his life he's just been doing what his family wanted for him doing what his coaches expected for him and Anthony just wasn't sure what Anthony wanted for himself so, his dad got mad, said he was throwing away his life, and, you know, wasting all, wasting a perfectly good opportunity. So, Anthony, you know, being kind of strong-headed that he is, you know, kind of stood up to his father, and they both said some things that they shouldn't have said to each other, and before you knew it, you know, things got hot. And fists were thrown, and Anthony pretty much packed up his stuff that night and left. And hasn't talked to his father since. And so now, fast forward, everything. Anthony's been on his own for like three years now. And this is when, after the three years, he finally had decided to settle in Brindleton Bay. And... He came, settled here, and you pretty much know the rest of the story. Meets Cosette, they fall in love, pretty much love at first sight, because here, Anthony has found his passion. He loves fishing, he loves nature, he just loves working with his hands, and he's good at that. You know, he, he's good at that, and he enjoys that as something he can see himself enjoying and doing for the rest of his life. So, yeah, so he meets Cosette, loves his life, and everything just seems to fall into place. And, um, he just hasn't talked to his family. Um, well, his parents, anyways. So, he also, as you notice, has a brother and a sister, and he is more closely related closer he is closer to his younger brother his younger brother adores Anthony has always looked up to Anthony and doesn't quite understand why Anthony went away and hasn't been in contact with the parents that much doesn't really want at least at least doesn't really he didn't understand why Anthony went away, but he respects his brother for standing up for what he wants, for what he believes in, and Anthony's brother really admires that about him, and so Anthony and his younger brother have always kept in contact with each other, and uh, always, you know, Anthony would always write him, send him postcards, letters, anything, pictures, anything that he could while he was out on his adventures, and his brother, um, really just wants to see see Anthony again, 
really wants to reconnect and strengthen the bond that they have. Now, Anthony's sister, on the other hand, she is very critical of Anthony, kind of like her parents. Uh, she doesn't understand why he threw away a pretty good opportunity. And while her parents, well, at least the dad, while the dad is very judgmental and harsh towards Anthony, his sister kind of gets it because she is in the same boat. She very much like Anthony's very smart, very creative, always did well in school, and so she was able to get um, a full ride to Sims Town University. And instead of being like Anthony and kind of doing her own thing, she just went went to college and kind of followed the path that was set before her. And so I believe in some aspects the sister might wish that she had kind of did her own thing, kind of like her brother did, but at the same time she sees and understands the value of taking a traditional route and everything. So that's pretty much Anthony's background, Anthony's family. I'm sure you have been wondering and wanting to know a little bit more about Anthony and his whole family situation. And I just thought this would be a fun way to bring in this storyline. Maybe we can get some interactions with Anthony's parents and Anthony's families, we can start having, you know, those really important conversations that Anthony needs to have with his family, especially if Anthony and Cosette plan to have kids, which they do. I feel like Anthony would really want to try to smooth things out, at least for the potential children that he's going to have, you know, at least kind of get things back to some sort of normal or find a new normal, so that way his children can grow up having grandparents who love and care about them, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit, this little extra, um, on the next episode, we will probably be playing with some of these ideas that I mentioned here, so be on the lookout. Once again, thank you for watching. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to enjoy this video. As always, I hope you have a great day and a wonderful rest of your week. Bye!